Good evening, everyone. It's Vintage Vinny, and look who I have with me today. I got the Dust Bunny, or Bun Bun, as we like to call her. I know you guys haven't seen her in quite a while. Oh, let me go back to the comment section. I'm not sure if D is still going on or not. Oh boy, she is shedding up a storm in here. Might have to shut the door a bit because I can hear myself downstairs. <laughs> I see Uncle Andy popping in the chat. Hello, hello. Oh, she ended, okay. I see Crystal, Nancy, Barb Lee, welcome aboard. I see Sarah and Sam, hello. In case you all don't know, not how well she's gonna handle it. This is the bunny. Hey, hey, okay, 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 okay. Yep, all right, yeah, she's gonna hang out with me for just a little bit, and then she's gonna go get a treat. She's very cute, I think she might be a little scared just because I held her in a certain way. Emancipation 30, I was about to say 30 hundred. Michelle, welcome aboard. Randy, thank you for coming on tonight. I hope you all enjoyed my little premiere that I put up, I think yesterday, and then I was posting pictures throughout the week on Instagram of the stuff that I was going to be offering up tonight. Leona Moscato, thank you for coming on tonight. I appreciate it, welcome aboard. I see Diane Broderick, Barbara Ambundo. Don't panic. Don't you panic now. Everyone here loves you. Don't you get stage fright on me. It's okay. It's okay. Look. Here she is, guys. Here's the dust bunny. Here's Bun Bun. Eat Bun Bun. Eat the Bun Bun. You need the cutest little thing, aren't you? Me, cutie. So mom and dad are popping in the chat as well tonight. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, it's safe, but I think the way I hold her sometimes, she gets a little scared. You would think a bunny who hops doesn't get, um, or isn't afraid of heights, but she is, oof, fur going all over the place in here. So it might be a little uh, challenging at first here. You can't get down because I know what you're going to do. You're gonna chew on everything. We don't need a bunny who chews on things. You've chewed on some of the stuff on the house. You've chewed up decorative items. You chewed up a lot of stuff. You chewed up two of my Marilyn Monroe pictures. Thankfully, the one was framed before you got to it. Yep, she's very cute, but she's trouble. I will tell you that. She's very much trouble. But she fits right into this house because of it. Sorry, guys. Got her fur all over the place. Don't you be scared now. Don't you be scared. Hi, Belinda. And to anybody else I missed. Is my Wi-Fi down? I got the Wi-Fi signal going low. Got, like, no bars up on the top by the live. doing what you doing oh you got the monster in here now tiggy you're up next tig ouch yes my she the cats get into stuff too but she literally like we have an enclosure for her and during the day, she'll be let out in certain parts of the house and other parts of the house she will not be allowed in because she, excuse me, chews on stuff. Hi, Javier. Don't, don't freak out on me now. Come on. You're among friends here. Hi, Kim. Hi, Mo87 official. Hmm. I forgot how much you shed. Oof. What are you trying to do, huh? 
Sorry, I seem to be focusing more on fun than I am on you all. It's like having another sibling in the house. Actually, technically it is. Tatum's Farm Stand and Vintage Shop, welcome aboard. Pace yourself. Pace yourself, Bun. It's okay. But we don't know what breed she is. The reason her name is Dusty is because I thought that she looked like something that sat up on a shelf for a long period of time and someone just, you know, gently took the dust off of her. And Dust Bunny. It's, I think it's just cute. Hi, Judy. Hi, Hi Sue. I don't know. So we're just giving some time, people some time to pop in. Take it easy. You're breathing too hard. It's like you have stage fright. Yeah, Ma, if you want to shake the treat bag, I think she's ready to, uh, she's ready. All right, you want to, you want to, uh, oh, oh, what's that? Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Tingy's going after it. Go on. Go get it, bun. All right, she ran downstairs, so I can brush off all the bunny hair now and shut my door so we don't get distracted here. I apologize. Nope, nope, nope. Go on. Go get a treat. Go get a treat. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go on. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Oh, boy. That's not good. So she is back downstairs. Sorry about that. Hi, Dee. Everyone that just popped in. I was trying to help get Dusty out of the room. Whew. Man. I did not realize how much that bunny sheds. Take a lint brush to my clothes after I'm done. Alrighty. So I do know that another sale is going on. I think it's Mama's Treasures, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? But we will just do what we can do here. So I believe I have 25, 26 items to share tonight. Well, Michael Gamer, welcome aboard. So if you are new, make sure that you all chat. I'm reading the rules. It's set to live and not top just so you guys get a little bit more of an accurate result of what you see when uh, claiming items. Make sure you comment the number of the item you want to purchase in the chat. For the flat price goods, it's a first come, first serve basis. And mom, dad, and I go by what we see on our end in the chat. For offer ups, we do not time them, and the person with the highest offer wins. So, what we'll do is we will let you all make whatever offer it is that you are willing to pay for something. And if we don't see offers within the next minute or two, we will go ahead and call it. I see Kathy from Happy and Hard. Welcome aboard, Kathy. If any of my offer ups go over $50, we do $5 increments. I think that's just easier. That's bunny's fur got all over the place. So make sure that you keep in mind of your location, wait, either in the US or Canada. If you are shipping, or if you would like me to ship to California or to Texas, I am based in Maryland. It can be a little pricey there. So just be mindful of that. I'm not trying to rip anybody off on shipping. It's just how it is. I go by a quote I see on pirate ships. Sometimes it's wrong. And if it is, and I spend less than what I quoted you, I do refund you immediately because I don't like to cheat anybody out of their money because that's just wrong. So the prices on our items don't include shipping. So let's say I'm selling my sweatshirt and I say it's $10 and it's number 100. So the price of the sweatshirt is $10, but you have to pay a shipping fee on top of that to get it to you. So you guys see my email on the bottom, scrolling across on the banner here. It is also in the description, I think. If not, I'll have my mom or dad put it in the, um, in the chat. Oh, Kim, no, I'm not having a sale next weekend. I know that Jamie from Mid-Century Wasted is doing a 1,000 subscriber milestone show, I think. And I'm glad I'm not doing a sale then so I because I want to be there for that. So make sure you all email me at skullking95680 at yahoo.com. And I will need your YouTube name, your real name, the email to send you your PayPal invoice through, 
and your shipping address. Oh, that was another thing I wanted to mention to you all. It's not a rule, but if you guys did buy something for me or from me for my last sale, I do sincerely apologize if it was late. Like I got everything packed up, but between having to be at work at a certain time and me rushing around like the crazy maniac I am and doing 40 hours for the last two weeks and having that Easter holiday come up, things got really backed up for me. So I do apologize for that. And it's all out. It's been out for a while now. And uh, Poodle messaged me, I think it was yesterday, saying that she got her package. So that's good to know. So without further ado, I believe there are 26 items, as I mentioned, five of which are offer-ups. We will do those at the very end. So let's jump right in. So I've got a nice little Wade figure here, and I know everyone loves their elephants. So I've got this really, actually, let me do that over. So we've got an elephant Wade figure with the trunk up. And these would come in T, and I think they're still made today in sets. And they're just really fun. I've got some coastal ones myself. And if I see these and they're relatively inexpensive, I will pick them up. And the elephant Wade figure can be yours for only $3. And he's number 30. $3, number 30 for the elephant Wade figure. The trunk down elephant. Oh my goodness. Give me Friday night Funkin' vibes. I better be careful how I say Funkin' because that could come out as a naughty word. So I see Barbara Ambundo. Is it Ambundo or Ambundo? Like, like Bundy, like Al Bundy, or is it Bundo, like Bun Bun Do? I want to make sure I'm pronouncing people's names correctly. So thank you, Barbara, for that. I appreciate it. Okay, so what do we want to do next? I do have a really cute salt and pepper shaker set. Boone, like Daniel Boone. Okay, Bundo. That's easy to remember. I don't want to show you all the number here. So this is really cute. It's a piggy salt and pepper. I'm really bad at showing you all close-ups. They're really cute. One's playing a guitar, one is playing a, what is that, an accordion? I almost wanted to say harmonica. So one has Japan, or both of them have Japan on it, but one is missing the stopper. But that's totally okay because I know those stoppers are really easy to replace. And they are a souvenir of Gettysburg. It's there, I promise you. Sometimes this camera just doesn't like to focus or I'm just not doing something right. They do have some slight paint loss because, you know, they're old. But that's just okay. And the set can be yours for $5. And they're number two. $5, number two, for the cute piggy salt and pepper shakers. I see Thomas Lynch picking up the piggies. Thank you, Thomas. I hope Sue is um, right behind you there. Thank you very much. Something fun to go along with the spring theme here. I see Becky is vintage, hello. One of those popular PC games. Unfortunately, I'm not much of a gamer anymore. That's more of my brother's alley. He, he's a Xbox lover and he doesn't play PC games, but he enjoys them. I have a green flower frog. It's a smaller one. But I know that these are really good for displaying a, displaying ephemera. And this one's in green. If it decides to focus. I'm the worst at getting things to focus. It's not a very big one at all. There we go. It's got a nice green color to it. Uh, there's no markings on the bottom, but it's got like a... Um, like a circle there. 
Man, this thing just is bad with focusing. Oh, she did. Well, Mama's Treasures, if you happen to watch the replay, thank you. I hope you're getting some good views and some good sales, too. And the Flower Frog is $6, and it's number five. $6, number five, for the Flower Frog. Mm. Ooh. Um. Okay, this is a bit of a challenge because two people put in the wrong number. Oh gosh, what do I do? Oh. Hmm. What, Mom, Deb, what do you think we should do? Because um, Vintage AF put in six, and then Belinda Carroll also put in six. Do we just give it to the first person who claimed it? Go with the first right number? Okay, thank you, Rebecca. So I see, so it was Belinda Carroll. So Belinda Carroll gets number five. So thank you, Belinda. Okay, thank you all again very much for your input there. So I do have a couple of books that I do want to offer. And if it's the only thing that you end up purchasing for me tonight, it's an easy shipper because books can go media. And these are older, so there shouldn't be any problem sending it media. So I have a mad book, and I'm sure you all are familiar with mad comic books and things like that. I don't even, are they still making those today? I don't even know. So we've got Mad in Orbit. I think this would look really cool in Halloween displays if you do that sort of thing. And this is from, let me show you the back first. Uh, it was originally out in 58 and then I think this is the 1962 copy. So it's like the third run of this book. And it's just a fun looking book. And it's got that old, I love the way old paper smells. And I think my dad thinks I'm nuts because of it. Literally anything that smells like an old musty basement is gold to me. Like I literally, if they made a scent of that, if they legit made like a cologne that smelled like that, I would definitely wear it. Anyway, overall it's in good shape. The, uh, the book itself, the pages are red. And this book can be yours for only $4. $4 for the Mad in Orbit book, number 10. $4, number 10, for the Mad in Orbit book. Sorry for the glare, guys. Barbara Ambundo, thank you very much. All right, I'm going to start putting stuff down so that way I know what's been sold and what has not been. Okay. So I have another book. This is The Black Camel. It's a Charlie Chan mystery, and it's by Earl Durr Biggers. Now, this book is from... It was originally published in June of 1929 by the Bob's Merrill Company, but they continued to print it and print it throughout the 30s, and then I guess another publishing company took it. Grossel and Dunlap took it after 1929, August of 29, and then they pu uh, published it up until 1939. The Madison Square Edition published it in January of 41, and then the Pocket Books Edition, which is this one, was out in November of 1941. So again, another really cool book that I think would look great with 
Halloween displays. It's got its, you know, normal wear and tear, but it's still in really good condition. That orange color, wouldn't that look great with Halloween stuff? The orange and black, I think that would look awesome. Oh, and here's the, uh, the pocketbooks mark on the back. And this book is $5, and it's number seven. $5, number seven, for the Black Camel Pocketbook book. So I see Barb Lee. Thank you very much, Barb. Oh, here's another. I'm trying to show all of the uh, lower price goods, and we'll work our way up into the uh, pricier items, quote unquote. So, if you all remember from a haul video a while back, I did buy these Bambi looking fawn salt and pepper shakers. And unfortunately, this one has seen better days. Let me focus on that better for you all. As you can see, she's been repaired. She does have a hole there, so she probably wouldn't serve well as a shaker anymore. But they are very cute, and I just think they would look great if you're doing spring-themed displays. They're very cute. And I was going to put them back after I saw the damage at the thrift store, and she said, you can just take them because she was going to throw them out otherwise. And I was like, are you sure? And she said, yeah. So... Because of the damage, they're not going to be very much money at all. Now, let me show you. Did I show this part of them? I don't know if I did or not. But here is where the real damage is. Aside from the hole, it's like, like she was decapitated and then she, uh, and then she was reglued. So the cute Bambi-esque salt and pepper shakers are $3 and they're number four. $3, number four, for the Bambi-esque salt and pepper shakers. I love to smell people when they eat onions and or garlic. <laughs> We've all got those weird scents that are just a part of who we are. So I see Belinda Carroll. Thank you very much, Belinda, for picking these up. I know they're going to go to a really good home. So this is a cute item here, and I think Misty just shared one of these in an antique store uh, shop with me. I think there's supposed to be two of them, but I only have the one. It's Lola Skultor Stouffer, and she's holding a basket of flowers. I believe these are made by Arn Art, according to my research. She's very cute, very springy. She does have felt, and yes, I've already felt it, so we don't need to put that joke in there. Hi, Sue. It looks like your husband beat you here, but that's all right. As far as damage is concerned, I'm definitely going to say that some of the flowers have a little bit of chipping on them, but, I mean, they're so small, you're not even going to really notice it. She doesn't appear to have any cracks. Oh, wait, what's this? There's a spot right there, but I don't know if that was just from manufacturing because it's glazed over. It's not like it's a, maybe not. Yeah, it feels like it's glazed over and then in another spot, it doesn't feel like it's glazed over. It's, it's, it's damage, but it's, it's not really noticeable unless you look at it up close. And Lola Skultor is $7, and she's number 25. $7, number 25 for Lola Skultor Stouffer. Is that blurry, or am I, is it just me? All right, I see Sue Spezio. Thank you very much.
Okay. Bees, if you are a cat person. You know what's funny about that, Katie? My sig Everyone says that my handwriting is really nice, but my signature is crap. It's, it's horrible. So I have a set of really cute kitty salt and pepper shakers. Oop, that's the black one here. This is the worst part with StreamYard is I, it's always backwards. So here's the white one, and she definitely has some paint left over on her. She's a little bit dainty. Like, she's just like, ooh, look at me. I'm so pretty. She's got some of her paint. Now, she does have a plastic stopper, but I do believe these are older, and those were probably just replaced. See if I can show that closer because. There we go. Look at her. Do I see Brittany from Blind by Beauty? Welcome aboard. Now, this one looks like it's lost all of its paints, unfortunately. But that's okay. Cats are great for all kinds of different uh, times of year. Hi, Lynn. Thank you for coming on. Sorry, I missed your. Greeting there. Did I miss something in the chat there? Or am I? Okay, I'm sure we'll get notified of that. So no cracks, no chips, no repairs, just paint loss. I think the black cat is missing all of its paint, but that's okay. It's still a neat piece. And I'm asking $8 for the set. And it's number 19. Eight dollars, number 19 for the adorable cat salt and pepper shakers. My handwriting has gone to hell in a handbasket. See, I love that saying. Ha hell in a handbasket. I just think it's fun. And I see Joelle Natal for picking those up. Thank you, Joelle. Oh, I've got another fun salt and pepper shaker set. And if you watched my preview, you guys would have already seen these. Let me just take the tag off of here. I've never seen a salt and pepper shaker set like this. It's like a street sign, and then you've got cauldrons where you put the spices. And there's no mark to say who made them. I'm assuming it's probably a souvenir piece or maybe just like a novelty shop kind of a thing. But they are just super cool. Or if you like railroad, I think these would look really cool with like train stuff, even if you don't use them for salt and pepper. They're really cool. And you know, of course, gonna have some normal wear and tear. I mean, we can't expect vintage to be perfect, right? And it's only $6 and it's number 13. $6, number 13 for the awesome salt and pepper shaker set very harry potter yeah mom i would say so and i see chad shop retro days thank you okay what do we do next here Now this, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I almost want to say it's either for cigarettes or for something. It's, no, I didn't see about the deer. What did I miss about the deer? I'm not good with my dog breeds, but I have this piece. It's kind of like a deep purple color. And she's got kind of like the Capa de Monte looking flowers on her head. Of course, they're not perfect at all. They're all chipped up and whatnot. But it's still a fun, dainty piece. Uh, she's got this slot on the back of her. Okay, so they'll, they'll tell me about it later. I'll see it on the notes when they give it to me later. I don't believe there are any cracks or chips to her. Doesn't sound like it. I'm giving her the test. And again, flowers are going to have chips on them because they're really like thin ceramic. 
and she can be yours for $12. And she's number 27. $12, number 27 for the. I guess it's a planter. I don't know what it is. Nate popped in. Hi, Nate. $12, number 27 for the dog. I don't even know what this thing is. <laughs> okay. Hi, Stephanie. Thank you for coming tonight. Whew, I got bunny hair all over everything. Okay. I have another fun, I think this is a souvenir piece, but it's still a really fun piece for spring. It's an Orioles vase. And it says Oriole Japan on the bottom of it. And it's footed. I don't know if I said that or not. It's a footed Oriole space. Now, I don't know if this was glued on here. Maybe it doesn't feel like it. Maybe it was just how it was made. Let me show you guys. It's like right here. It doesn't feel like glue. But... Maybe that's just how it was made because it doesn't look like it was broken. Sometimes I like to like uh, pull on that stuff and just make sure that it's still attached to the piece. Uh, it is still a really nice little vase for spring. And this awesome piece is also $12. And you can have that for number 17. $12, number 17 for the. Orioles vase. Hi, BJ. Thanks for coming on tonight. I keep saying tonight, and it's still bright as day outside. No takers for the vase. That's okay. We can move on. Okay. So this is really, really cute. Again, fairly recent pickup. It's a frosted glass pins jar. No maker's mark on it, so I don't know who exactly made this. Overall, good condition. Uh, there are some minor chips on the lip here. Again, just with age, that happens. I can see like one barely showing up. But it is a very nice piece. The lid is perfectly fine and it is frosted glass. Paint might be a little worn because of the age of it. If I had to date it, 60s maybe. But definitely fits into spring, shabby chic, farmhouse, so many different possibilities with this beauty. And it can be yours. For $8, number 15. $8, number 15 for the glass pins jar. Hi, Stacy, no worries. We've all got other stuff we have to do. Let me show the number again. So $8, number 15 for the pins jar. No worries. Okay. Another fun spring item. I picked this up when I met Chad from Retro Days. We went to the Emmitsburg Antique Mall. He has a, two booths there. It's a butterfly. And the antennas are... I'm trying to think of what material it is. It's like a plastic... But it's really pretty, all those different colors on her. This definitely fits into so many different styles. Uh, boho, shabby chic, farmhouse. 
or if you just like spring stuff in general. There's no markings on it to say who made it, but that's all right because I can just tell that it's a it's an older piece. And the butterfly is eight dollars, number twenty eight. Eight dollars, number twenty eight for the butterfly. Definitely. Thought that was a crutch. I have another fun piece. This is a yellow tuna. I, that's what it says on the back. Yellow tuna wall plaque. It's ceramic. And this would look great in a bathroom, I think. Fish, for some reason, are very popular in the bathroom. Whatever the reason is, I don't know. And I'm not going to lie, I do like my fish. But this one, I think I want to pass on to you guys. So what's really neat is it's, it's kind of three-dimensional. The fish kind of pops out of the oceanic scene, and so do the seaweed stems. I'm going to cover up the price real quick so you guys can see that it does say yellow tuna and that I'm not two steps uh, closer to crazy. It says Yellow Tuna C3268SE. I'm not exactly sure who made it, but I assume it is a, like a Anesco, Anarco, Napco piece. And it does have a string, so you can hang it. And if you would, oh, there is some damage. The uh, tuna's tail does have a slight chip there. And then there is some paint loss and a small chip on the thin right here. But overall, it's in great shape and would definitely look great in a bathroom or just in a coastal themed room. Hey, Book Bewitched. And the yellow tuna plaque is $7 and it's number nine. $7, number nine for the tuna plaque. So I see Stacy Brinkley. Thank you, Stacy. All right. So where did I put? Or did I put them back in the bag? Oh my goodness. I guess I didn't come in as prepared as I thought. <laughs> I never do. Oh. Or no, those are the things I'm keeping. Alrighty, so unless I put them underneath here. Actually, we'll we'll do these. So again, this is something that I've had buried in that bin of live sale stuff. And I am again looking forward to moving them and getting in, into a new home. So they are these horses, and they are standing up on their hind legs, golden white. Again, appeals to many different styles, mid-century modern. Shabby chic, farmhouse, and no cracks or chips. Uh, the gold is worn off on here, typical with age. And these are being sold as a set. Again, no marks to say who made them. I don't know if they're Hager or not. I, I don't think that they are. But they are very cool. And the set of horses can be yours for 14 bucks, and they're number 30. $14, number 30 for the horse set. Hi, Cindy. Thanks for coming on tonight. So $14, number 30 for the horses. I see Cricket pop in. Hi, Cricket. All right. So what else do we got here? Oh, yeah. I don't want to forget about her. 
I have this planter here. And she definitely has fall, spring vibes. I think this was made in the 50s or 60s, kind of when the gay 90s were coming back into style. There, there is a foil sticker on the bottom, but I cannot for the life of me make out who it is by. There is no, there's a slight chip right here on her dress, but hardly noticeable from afar. No major cracks. I don't see any repairs anywhere. That's what she looks like. She's blonde. So again, definitely a gay 90s kind of a thing made in the 50s or 60s. And, oh, Sally Koska here. Hi, Sally. And I see Junking Data Girl. Hello, hello. And there is rabbit hair all over this stuff. And she can be yours for $15. And she's number 26. $15, number 26 for the really adorable figural gay 90s planter. So I see Cricket Harrington. Thank you, Cricket. All right, this is another item that I picked up when I went out antiquing with at Retro Days. And it's this half teapot in a luster, like a luster orange, yellow, and then there's hints of green in it. Let me take the tag off of here. It does have a made in Japan stamp on the bottom. Um, Cricket, I'm not sure. Usually I have people send me their info, even if I already have it, because it's like my virtual checklist. So when I pack people's merchandise up and then it is um, shipped out after payment, I can literally just delete the email and say, hey, um, their, their invoice and their shipment has been processed and taken care of. So there is the Made in Japan mark with the flower in the center. I really liked the combination of the black and the yellow and the orange on this. No, I haven't bought it yet, Angela. I, I've been meaning to. I need to make my own merch. People have been asking for it. I just, I got to get on it. I, <laughs> I'm, I kid you not, I am a busy person. Like, I'm always on the go. Anyway, so this awesome piece does have some paint loss, as you can see there. Uh, no cracks or chips, and it's actually not a completely full teapot. This is flat back here. So it's going to be an easy shipper because it's not a completely round teapot. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Chad, the one who talked me into buying it. I know it has good colors on it. <laughs> so this awesome teapot can be yours, and it's only $14. And it's number eight. $14, number eight for the flat-backed teapot. Is there a hole in the back to hang it? No, it's it's literally a teapot somebody could use. See? I see Cricket Harrington again. Thank you, Cricket. Okay, what else do we got here? I feel like I didn't share many items, but we're 44 minutes in, so I guess I did. Maybe I went a little fast. Um, oh, I've got this again. This didn't sell the last time. I did drop the price on it just to see if anybody happened to be interested in it. It's that luster vase with the flowers on it. It's got a variety of colors. It's got the orange. It's got the blue with the raised painting on it. And then this is all raised, too, on the flower. It does have a painted or hand painted stamp with Made in Japan on it with a bird in it. If that decides to focus, which I don't think it will because it's my camera. There we go. There's the mark. And 
again, a really nice piece. You can either display it just by itself or you can just, you could put flowers in it. There's so many things you could do with these vases. They don't have to be used for said purpose. And I dropped the price to 15 bucks if anybody's interested and it's number 15. So $15, number 15 for the painted luster vase. Oh, I just got a message on my phone, but we will. The, uh, well, I'll get through that in a second. Now, Book Bewitch says, imagine his merch. She'd be, she better not be skinnier than me unless she's Betty Page. That's a good one. I like that. So no takers for the vase. That's totally okay. All right. Oh, I see Pam's Eclectic Place. Thank you, Pam, for the vase. So let me move that over here to the solds. I can't remember what I did or if I put them back in here or not. Ah, oh, just my luck. I do something with some of the items and I can't remember what I did. Major CRS, major CRS. So, let me take this off of here so that way you all don't cheat. I have a bag of like match covers uh, without the matches. And I know there are a lot of junk journalers out there. And let me pull some of these out of here so you guys can see them because some of them are just really, really cool. So I'm not going to share all of them because that would really take up a lot of time. But I am just going to give you a little bit of a hint of what's going to be in there. So we've got a matchbook cover for the United States Air Force. It's not going to focus because, yeah, there we go. So U.S. Air Force. I've got a bunch of these ones for Thompson's Cocktails Luncheon Diner or Dinner. There are several of these in there. These are not terribly, terribly old. I think because, what did dad tell me? I think he said because the striker is on the outside of the box. You'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. The bird logo. He say in Seiko and business were before World War II and seems to have shut down in 1962. Logo in red was used through the 30s until World War II. Thanks, Nancy. I appreciate that. You are so full of knowledge. So there's a bunch of these in there. Um, we've got one for Cavalier cigarettes. Love the images on here. Look at that. Now, again, these are just the books themselves. No matches. They were used. We've got one for Noggles, Motor Co. and Inc. Studebaker Sales and Service in Topeka. Is it Topeka or Topeka? Because I've heard it pronounced both ways, Kansas. Are these the ones that I pulled? Oh, you know what? Here are the ones that I pulled. My goodness. I pulled these ones out so you guys could see them, and I completely forgot they were right in front of me. So we've got one that says Happy Holidays with a wreath on it. Um, this one's for the Ohio book matches for the Ohio Match Sales Company. Love the art on that. That would be cool for Halloween and a flower frog. Here's the image on the other side. This one's for Pickwick Coffee. Look at her. And then here is the graphic of the coffee can. And we've got Italy gift croc. Very nice, bright colors. And then there is Woody's El Nido, uh, Woody's Macau. That one's a little bit more shiny. Still a really cool graphic though, especially if you like birds. 
A Charles Dickens character, okay. And then I think that was it. Again, these are great for junk journaling. If you want to just maybe lay them flat and make a page out of them, that would be fantastic. And like I said, there's a ton of stuff in here. So you're getting them for a really good deal. The whole bag, this whole bag of matchbook covers is $10 and it's number 21. $10, number 21 for the matchbook um, covers. <laughs> Why I could not think of that word again is beyond me. How do I refresh? Uh, there should be a little um, arrow that goes like this with, and it should let you refresh. So $10, number 21 for the matchbook covers. Great junk journaling project or material. Material for a project. So we don't have any takers for those. That is totally okay. And I have a bag of matches, ones that actually still have the matches in them, if you collect that sort of thing. Let me just dump them out real quick, and I'll go through a few of them. There are going to be 34 matchbooks in here. What did I miss that Book Bewitch says? Oh, that woman is a man. Oh, <laughs> whoops. I must have uh, mixed up the gender of that person. You know what? I should have known that because you know what? He looks like a, uh, he almost reminds me of the Beef Eater Gin person. The Beef Eater Gin mascot, like from the olden days. That's, I should have figured that out. All right, have a good dinner, Stacy. I literally shoved food in my mouth before I did this sale because I knew if I didn't, I'd be starving by the end of this. Okay. So moving on, you're getting 34 matchbooks for one price. Hi, Pickled Tink Susan. Okay, so which ones do I want to show you? We've got one that looks like it's in the form of a check. This one's really cool. I think that would look really cool on a flower frog. There we go. Look at that. We've got one for European Jet Boeing. It's got an airplane on the outside. The matches in here are really interesting. These are German. Look at the uh, match heads on these. They're really thin. Look at that. Lufthansa, that's probably not how you pronounce that, but that's just how I pronounce it. Um, oh, this is a really cool one for Starnes Restaurant. Look at the graphics on that one. For Starnes Restaurant and Yacht Bar, and that's in Atlantic City. Full book of matches. And there is the back there. I'll just show you a couple more because I don't want to take up too much time here. Um, what's another cool one? Oh, here's one for Cadillac. It's probably not terribly, terribly old. Uh, Greenleaf Motor Car Company, and I believe it says Grand on the back of it. 29th and McGee Trafficway Grand. Thinking maybe the Motor City in Michigan. That's for Cadillac. I wonder if actual personal checks and checkbooks are tomorrow's next ephemera. Possibly, because, you know, it's funny. I think I've only written, and I've had a bank account for, it'll be seven years since I started working. I think I've only written two or three checks in seven years. And I see some people write checks to me at Marshall's and I'm, 
And in my head, I'm like, come on, this is so old fashioned. I mean, we take checks and it'd be nice if we got rid of them because it's kind of old fashioned. But I mean, hey, do what you got to do, right? Um, oh, this is a cool one. This is for a vote for AF of L. It's for the International Association of Machinists. That's a really cool one. Great for 4th of July or Memorial Day displays or even Labor Day displays. What, on the checks, Belinda? Oh, this one's got some. Uh, this is for federal home loans. So that's just a slight little sneak peek of what you will get in the bag of matches. Um, it's going to be a little bit cheaper. Ooh, I'm out of focus here. Um, it's going to be a little bit cheaper on each piece because I added one more matchbook to it. Huh, okay. Maybe I'm stuck in the new generation where everything is just electronic. I mean, I still pay cash for things. Uh, $15, number three, you're getting 34 matchbooks, so it's going to be slightly a little bit cheaper a piece. So it's less than a dollar a piece on them. So you're getting 34 matchbooks for $15. And it's number three. Some, I guess, in, unless it's like one of those big chain storage units, that's probably a possibility. Yeah, I remember my parents told me when I got my uh, checking account that I should order checks just in case, because at the time, a lot of things were still, you know, making you do checks. I remember before FedEx, I think it was FedEx. Yeah, FedEx used to, um, if I wanted my Amazon orders picked up, like all the stuff that I had to send to the warehouses, I had to write a check for them before they started taking electronic payments. So, I mean, that that's just me. It's, it's just not something I do every day. It's, it's very, very rare. Like I said, I've only written probably three in my seven years of working. All right, again, so $15 and it's number three for the matches. If I don't have any takers, that's totally okay. We can always come back to them because I have some stuff that didn't sell. Yeah, I know everything was paid by check back in the day and some people still, which I mean, hey, it is what it is. I'm not knocking it. Uh, oh, there was one other thing. It just didn't make its way up to the uh, to the desk. Got another piece of alleged farmhouse shabby chic. It's an Abingdon Pottery fan planter. I do too. I, no, I can't say that I do because my grocery store now is Walmart and I go to self checkout. And I don't think self checkout um, takes checks as far as, as I know. I only write two checks per month lawn and pool service companies, others maybe for birthday. Yeah, that's true. I, I forgot about sending a check for birthdays. I'll make sure you guys the mark on the bottom. So there's the Abingdon USA mark on the bottom there. Does anyone know I have to charge sales tax to someone in Canada? Yeah, Walmart still does take checks, but I don't think you can do that at the self-checkout, if I'm not mistaken. Again, it's been ages since I've written one. Yeah, if you go to a cash register where there's a cashier ringing, yeah, I think you can do checks. Uh, no cracks, no... I hope that's not a chip. Doesn't feel like it. Unless I'm hearing things wrong. I don't see any damage. It's just a hair. Nope, I think we're good. Abingdon Pottery is $16 and it's number five. $16 number five for the Abingdon Pottery Fan Planter. Isn't it? 
I definitely can see this being used in shabby chic or farmhouse. Sorry guys, I got itch because Bun Bun was in here earlier and she literally, her fur went all over the place. So $16, number five for the Abingdon USA. When is the last time y'all have been behind someone who writes a check in the grocery store? It's a brutal wait. Oh, Sandy Four for number five. Thank you, Sandy. Um, been a while, I will say. I mean, I, a lot of people pay electronically now with their cards. And some, like some people, like mostly it's like the older like, you know, like people in their 80s and their 90s are still writing their checks, which is, you know, they've just done that for years and they've never adapted to the way payments are done now. Because like you all just said that, you know, everything was paid by check, your groceries, your retail, everything was just done by check. It's just so much easier now. But if you're used to doing something for years and years and years, I mean, it's almost like why change it? So I believe that was all of my flat priced goods. Now we can jump into the offer ups of tonight. I've got five things that we are going to be looking at. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen them already. Now the only question is, is I don't know which one to start with. <laughs> no, talking about older, older, like 80s, 90s. All right, so, oh boy, this is a tough one. I don't know where to start. Okay, so we're just going to start off with her. This is not the number because it's just an offer up. It's for my parents to keep track on their sheets. Number 12 for the girl head base at one point she would have had a metal rod that would go into this hole here and it would hold a ceramic umbrella that has since long been gone i believe she is napco because of the circle with the n in it i believe but i could be wrong i think it's napco wear because I've never seen Napco with that mark on it. They probably will at some point, Nancy, because everyone's using, you know, I've seen people do Google Pay and Apple Pay at our at work, and I've seen, you know, cash obviously and you know, gift cards and all that other stuff. So this piece, before I start the offer up, has got some issues. I mean, some of the paint's rubbed off, and there is some uh, some slight paint chips on her. Like, there's a spot right there, right where my finger is, right here. Uh, there's another spot that I wanted to mention. Where is it? Oh, maybe it was right there. Yeah, there's just little spots, like nothing like seriously, seriously wrong with her. Still got really good color. Again, great for spring. You could even put a flower in here yourself, like a faux flower, and it would still look really nice. Yeah, now they put, what do they put in it now? It's um, name, address, phone number. I can't remember. So we are starting this beauty off at $10. So we will just start from there. I'm going to type start in the chat and you all can just offer away. So again, she would be great to display in spring vignettes or if you just like to collect these head vases, they are really cute. I'm so old. We had our social security number on our check. Oh, oh boy. I, I couldn't imagine that because, I mean, I have my social security card that I keep in like this, what is it called? Um, 
I just keep it in like this plastic holder just so that way I know what's there. So we've got Belinda Carroll at $12 for the cute, adorable head vase. So Belinda is at $20. $25 for D, Thrill of the Thrift. Belinda at $28. I wish I had my tape measure, but it broke. It's a smaller head base. It's not big, big. Yes, my PC is running at its best. Thank you very much, Dell Support. You can leave me alone as I am live on YouTube. So I see Belinda is still at 28. She's very cute. Yes, very dainty for spring. You may just have to clean the inside a little bit, but still, she's very cute. So D is at $30. And she's got the uh, Miss Pam Kelly Blanchard side eye. So Belinda is out. Thank you very much. That is one thing that I completely forgot to mention at the beginning of the sale. Like if you are out at an offer up, please just let me know. So thank you again, Belinda, for letting me know that. So D is at $30. That's what you have to beat right now. This is who you have to be, Miss D. She's definitely all ready for Sunday dinner. I just showed a folding ruler for the sale. I did. Did I show a folding ruler? I don't remember that. Maybe that was, no, that was real nifty last night. He showed us a folding ruler. All right, guys. So we're at $30. Does anybody else want to jump in? Because if not, we're going to go ahead and call it. So $30 to D going once. $30 to D going twice and sold for $30 to D. Thank you so, so much. I know you love these head vases and she is going to look fantastic with your other ones. Pearl and Pearl Mini. Is that, is that Maya Rudolph's mom? I think that's, is that Maya Rudolph's mom if I'm not mistaken? Hi, Jody Renshaw. I think, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Oh, let me put this number back on here so that way I know. Okay. All right. So I have this piece, which is really nice. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys would have seen this already. It's a Fenton piece, and it's got blue flowers on it. And how did I know it's Fenton? It's marked hand painted on the bottom and that's usually the signature of Fenton unless it has a sticker on it. I was really disappointed to find out that it doesn't glow under the black light. I didn't have it with me at the time so I wasn't able to check. Mm, excuse me. The only thing that's wrong with this, there is a slight chip in the handle right there. See that shiny spot in the unfocused camera that is mine? Right there, that is a slight little chip, but you're just not going to notice it when you're far away. And the paint on the flowers on both the lid and on the dish itself. And this is a bit of a heavier piece, but you know it's quality. And again, a great item for shabby chic farmhouse, or if you're just into that look. Or did someone say Mini Riverton or Mini Pearl? Because anytime I think of Mini Pearl, I think of Maya Rudolph. Why, I don't know. And this piece, we're going to start the offer up at $12. So let me go ahead and type that in the chat, and then you guys can offer away. Yeah, isn't Mini Riverton Maya Rudolph's mom? Sometimes I get those people mixed up. I'm not good with that sometimes. So a really nice piece, and I believe this is a powder jar. If I'm not mistaken. So I see Southern Mermaid starts us off at $12.
Oh, did I forget to show mom and dad the number? Mom and dad number is 29. The number is 29. So I see pickled tink is at $13. Yeah, that's what I was saying, Dee, because I think Minnie Ripperton, that, that's, that's Maya Rudolph's mom, isn't it? She died really young, I know. Yeah, this would look great if this matches the set, Susan. So I see, so far we have Susan at $13. Anybody else want to pop in and make another offer? Yeah, the singer. Didn't my Rudolph's mom pass away like really young or something like that? I thought. Or maybe they didn't update the info real well. So I don't know. It's been a while since I've caught on that or caught up on that. All right, so I see Susan at 13. Should we go ahead and call it? Oops. Yep, I guess Susan did want this. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and call this. So $13 going once. $13 going twice. And sold to Pickled Tink Susan. Congratulations. I hope you get some good use out of this. I believe this is a powder jar. That's right. I knew I knew it. So you can put that with my solds here. Okay. All right, so it wouldn't be a live sale if it didn't have a fairy lamp in it. So let me get some stuff ready here. All right. So I do have, oh, did Kat from Relevé Vintage pop in? Hello, Kat. So I have an Indiana Glass Diamond Point Fairy Lamp to offer up tonight. I keep saying night and it's still, oh, that's going to mess me up. I'm still stuck on uh, the old daylight savings. Let me go ahead and take. Um, the offer from the last one off. All right. So let me go ahead and take this out and show you all what it looks like with a votive handle holder in this. I love these battery operated tea lights because they are perfect for this. Okay. Let me turn the light off here. Guess this isn't really doing it justice. The video that I put out earlier, or the little clip that I put on Instagram and uh, in my preview last night, this thing looks awesome. I mentioned that it would look really cool with a beach theme, like those lanterns that you see people lighting on the beach and you watch them drift into the night sky. That's what this reminds me of with this clear glass. And no cracks, no chips, no repairs. It's kind of got like a floral scalloped uh, foot on it. Let me go ahead and turn the light back on, or maybe not, so that way you guys can enjoy the uh, flicker of the candle flame. And again, it is in the original box. It is number 38, Mom and Dad. So that's the inventory number, 38. And this piece, we are going to start at ten dollars let me go ahead and type that in the chat here and you all can offer away again no cracks no chips it's a really nice clear glass lamp in the original box and again you can use clear all year round for the different colors for the different colors 
for the different times of year. Spring, you could put it with flowers. Summer, you could do the lantern idea. Fall would be great with leaves. And winter, you could put cranberries with it. So I see Barb Lee at $20. So you have to be Barb Lee's price at $20. So I see Uncle Andy at 25. I don't know if this thing is on here skewed or what. No, maybe it's just because I'm holding it weird. Because you're not really supposed to handle these things. They're supposed to sit down. So I see Barb Lee is at 27. Again, because I have the nautical theme or the coastal theme in my bedroom, I immediately think of lanterns and going up into the night sky when I see something like this. Hi, Karina Tarnish Treasures, and thank you for letting me know you are out, Susan. Barb Lee is at $30. Again, remember, folks, this has the original box to it. Diamond Point Angel Light is what it's called. BJ Duke is at $34. Really nice glow to it. I, I'm very, very, I'm loving this piece. Yes, you definitely need a clear glass piece. So Barb Lee and Southern Buckeye, thank you very much for letting me know that you guys are out of the offer. And I see Rita from Poteet's Vintage Finds just popped in. Welcome aboard. So you all have to be BJ Duke at $34. So we'll let it run just a little bit longer and then we will start calling. Again, you don't want to miss out on this great piece. Uncle Andy just popped in at 35. Great for all times of the year. Great for Christmas displays, fall displays, summer displays, spring displays. BJ Duke is at $36. Not a thing wrong with it. And it's in the original box. And I think I've had this in amber before. Oh, BJ Duke, you just... Uh, Typed in the number that you're at twice. <laughs> no barcode as far as I'm, as far as I know, it doesn't have a barcode. So I would say it's probably from the, oh, actually, I covered the barcode up with the inventory SKU. Yeah, look, there's a barcode on the box. So I'd say it's probably from the 80s. Yeah, there is a barcode on the box right here. It's. I mean, it's 70s, 80s, I assume. Yeah, I, I was, you know what? I'm a dope. I was, I did that a long time ago. So, so we've got BJ Duke at 36. Does anybody want to top the $36 offer? Because if not, we're going to go ahead and call it. So BJ Duke is at 36 going once. BJ Duke at $36 going twice. And sold to BJ Duke for $36. Thank you very much, BJ. I will definitely add that in to the other item you emailed to me or emailed me about and claimed. So thank you again. Let me go ahead and get this put away so I don't break it. Okay, so I know you guys, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys would have seen these pieces before, or this piece. I love this. It's a ruffled glass, or ruffled edged green glass. I don't want to say it's hobnail because they're, they're not pointy, they're more smooth. Hi, Teresa. Oh, mom and dad, number 22 is this uh, inventory skew. This is not the number, guys. This is just the number my mom and dad write on the sheet of paper, so that way when I go to do the invoices, I know who gets what. 
And what's really nice about this, again, if you follow me on Instagram, look at the beautiful glow that this has. Isn't that stunning? Look at that. Yeah, it, it's beautiful. It glows just as nice as my um, Lady Trinket box that I bought. Oh, did Aaron just pop in? Hi, Aaron, Mr. Chapter 2. I hope you all sale went really well. Um, was it yesterday? You guys did that with uh, Collection Vintage, right, Aaron? The other Aaron. <laughs> and then you guys are having a sale tomorrow too, right? So make sure you all are there too, because they offer some really great glass and pottery, stuff I know nothing about. Although I will say, Aaron, you and Alex are definitely responsible for getting me started on finding this blue Fenton stuff. Let me turn the light on so you guys can see this better. Yeah, you guys, I'm holding you personally responsible for getting me hooked on this blue stuff. All right. Okay, let me turn the light out again. So let me type in the... So we're gonna start this piece. Uh, no cracks, no chips. I don't feel any rough spots on it. Of course, just needs to be cleaned. Um, the mold right here, like the little line that's right here is a little, it's not sharp, it's just, it's, it's rather noticeable. And let me go ahead and we're gonna start this really cool piece and I'll put the black light on it again. We're going to start this piece at $12. Again, look at that glow. Look, think of how awesome this would be for Halloween or if you like displaying this green glass at springtime. Oh, let me hold it up again so you guys can see the whole thing. So Southern Buckeye has this at $15. I mean, look at that. You just, that, ah, oh, that green is phenomenal. So I see Teresa Bryan is at $18. Pickled, or no. Four Sandy's Lilacs gets it at 20. And I see Pamela 13 is joining us today. Hello, Pamela 13. This, I'm telling you, this piece glows insanely beautifully. Let me go ahead and highlight that so they know. So we've got Sandy 4 at $20, y'all. So Teresa's out. Thank you very much for letting me know. And we've got Pickle Tank at $21. Sandy is at $25. Susan's at $26. Thanks for letting me know, Dana. Yes, it's a very nice piece. I contemplated keeping it for myself, but I've got some pieces of uranium that I like and that glow beautifully under this light. So not a terrible loss for me. I'm happy to offer it to you all. It's a, oh, absolutely, D. It's a really nice color. And when I bought it at the antique store, the person had their tag or had it marked on the tag Fenton question mark. And so they didn't know if it was Fenton or not. So I literally had my black light and I put the, Put it up to it and just did the exact same thing I just did with you all. And I was like, you know what? That's got to come home with me. The price was right. They do. And um, Sandy actually sent me a link to a black light on Amazon that I'm actually going to get because I have one in here. I have one in my bedroom for when I do haul videos for you all. Hi, Alex. I was just talking about you all's sale yesterday. I hope it went well. And then what was I saying? Yeah, I have one, and then the one I have in my bedroom I'll take with me when I go out. But I want to get one that I, uh, just stays in my car, so that way I don't have to keep taking it from room to room or moving it. Okay, let me see. So we were at, what, $26? Yep, so Susan has it at $26, y'all. If you want to go ahead and make another offer, Susan is at $26. Oh, did you get your cast off the other day, Susan? That's awesome. That's awesome, Alex. I'm glad you guys had a good time yesterday. I wish I could have been there, but I was working. 
Yeah, that's what everyone else said. They think it was Fenton. All right, you all. So I'm going to go ahead and call it. So Susan is at $26 going once. Susan at $26 going twice. And sold to Pickled Tink for $26. Thank you very much, Susan. You are going to love this piece. And Julia just popped in. Hi, Julia. Again, Susan, you are in for a treat with how beautifully this glows. All right. So, last offer up for the night. And then if you want, we can go over the stuff that didn't sell. Turn this light back on so we can see it better. Oh, okay. Oh, even better. That's that's even better than getting a cast removed. Oh, did I just get a super chat and I missed it? Thank you, Greg Blue Feather Mercantile. I appreciate that. I, I don't even know how I missed that. And that was a little while ago. Thank you very much. Okay. So this was a really good find. And I think I got this when Cindy came into town. It's a 1974, no, maybe I got it before that. It's a 1974 Miller Studios Have a Nice Day floral and bird chalkware piece. I'm saving it for last. Let me go ahead and take this off. Let me go ahead. Um, this is not attached to the packaging, the cellophane, I mean. Let me go ahead and just take that down so you guys can see the color better. Look at that. Crisp and clear in the box. Crisp and clear. Crisp and mint in the box. While the box does have some condition issues, a great piece to hang. Or if you wanted to maybe just hang it in the box, take the cellophane off. It says you can hang it on the wall, but on the packaging, it says you can use it as a hot pad holder too. Let me show you the back real quick, and I'll pull down the cellophane again for you all so you can see it. And here's what it says on the back. By Miller Studios in New Philadelphia, Ohio. Now note that the box does have some condition issues. Uh, the fading on the box is worst on this side here. But everywhere else, it seems to be in pretty good shape. All right, you guys, so we are gonna start this a little bit higher because this thing is in really good shape. So I am gonna start this piece of chalkware, this awesome piece of chalkware at $15. Let me go ahead and type that in the chat. And you all can start making your offers. Again, a really great piece to add to your vintage kitchen or if you just collect the chalkware itself, it's a phenomenal piece. All right, so we see Dana at $20. Again, let me pull this cellophane down. It's not attached to the, actually it is, but it's folded down. <laughs> it's a little bit dirty, but you know, it, what do you expect with 47 year old chocolate? Look at that. It's such, it's, I've never seen chalkware this clean and crisp before. It really is cute, Alex. I was surprised to see it. At, I think I got it at a, I have the hardest time saying what something is. It's either a peddler mall, a vendor mall, or an antique shop. It's not an antique store. It's one of those like vendor mall places where people sell like yard sale stuff and then they sell vintage too. So we got Dana at $20 for it. So that's who, what you have to beat y'all. It really is. I love this piece. So Belinda's at 25. And I don't know, are you guys planning on taking them out of the box? Or are you guys going to just hang them in the box? Maybe put them in a shadow box and protect the, the original box itself? I, there's so many things you could do with it. So I went through all the boxes and removed all the peanuts and paper. That took me most of the day. I haven't opened any yet. 
it's so much fun to get friend mail and just order stuff in the and just it it's literally like it gives you a little bit of a rush like when you go to the antique stores or the thrift stores and you find stuff it's it's so much fun to do all right you all so belinda is at 25 dollars right now so that's what you have to be so southern mermaid is out thank you for letting me know so belinda is at is the highest right now at $25. Seven huge boxes. Wow. I love digging through boxes. It's fun to do. All right, Uncle Andy's at 26. Sorry, guys, I got to take a swig of water. All right, so you have to be 26. Again, it's such a great piece. I mean, look at those bright colors. I Like I, I've never seen chalkware this pristine before. All right, guys, so should we go ahead and start calling it? Uncle Andy's at 26. Oh, nope. Belinda Carroll jumped back in at $27. I don't know how often you guys see chalkware in the original box and this clean and without all those chips and everything, but this is a good piece. Mr. Alpage comes in at 29. Belinda at 30. It really is. I I was shocked to find it. It's a great piece, you all. Whether you like birds or flowers or you just like 70s chalkware in general. So Uncle Andy is out. Thank you very much for letting me know. Oh, we pulled back where we were. Belinda's Carol is now at $30, highest offer. Mr. L. Page comes in at $33. Belinda Carroll at 35. That must have been, uh, been fun for you, Susan, because I know you couldn't really get out with your cast on. So to get all those boxes, it must be so much fun to just dig through it. And I'm sure with people who do buy a lot of stuff from the sales, it's kind of like, oh, I forgot I bought that. I do that all the time when I go thrifting or I go like today, I bought a bunch of stuff from a bunch of the uh, peddler malls in town and I kind of already forgot what I bought. So Belinda's at $40. So you got to be 40. It literally, like I said, only thing wrong with this is that the cellophane is completely messed up. So I pulled it down so that way you guys could see the really nice colors of the chalk. And there's some tearing up here on the box. Again, this is about 47 years old. Yeah, isn't that's exactly how it is. Whether you're uh, thrifting and you find a bunch of stuff, or you know you buy a bunch of stuff from a sale. Yes, this piece is pristine. The box isn't, but the item itself is absolutely in great. It's I would say this is definitely a near mint. I mean, look at that. Bright colors, no chippy doodles on it, no chunks of the uh, chalk out of it. All right, so $42. Remember, you all, if we go up to $50, we have to go into uh, $5 increments. So thank you, Belinda, for letting me know that you are out. Might be lagging there, Nate. <laughs> $39.50. <laughs> All right, you all. So we are at 42. So Mr. L. Page is claiming it at $42. Hey, that's better than what I usually offer sometimes at sales. <laughs> I'll go up in penny increments. <laughs> okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start calling it. Mr. L page is at $42 going once. Mr. L page at 42 going twice. Last call, guys. And sold to Mr. L page for $42. Thank you very, very much. You are going to absolutely love this piece. It's so much better in person, trust me. Oh, I know you were teasing, Nate. I knew. All right. So now the big question is, would you all like to see the stuff that didn't sell or are you sick of hearing me talk? Because we're about an hour and a half in. I know they're probably sick of hearing me talk downstairs. All righty, we can go ahead. There's about, there's a few items. Oh, let me move this over because that has been sold. All right. So we have, let me pull all the stuff back up here that didn't sell so we can check it out. So there's about, what is it, one, two, three, four. So there's about six items that did not sell before. And I'm hoping that they will have a good home. All right, let me pull this offer off of here. So again, thank you, Randy, for the offer. I appreciate it. Yeah, I heard it. I'm just ignoring it. So I have this dog here, and she's got a floral crown on her. Unfortunately, the petals are a little on the damaged side, but that's just normal with age. I think it's for cigarettes, if I'm not mistaken, or it's just a really thin planter because that hole is rather narrow. And she is $12, number, whoa, didn't have that on the right angle at all. She is $12, number 27. $12, number 27 for the, I don't even know, what is this, a collie? So again, $12, number 27 for this. Uh, Katie, I don't know if I would say I'm professional. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little cuckoo. I, I don't know if that is, uh, if that plays into professionalism or not. So no takers on her, that's that's perfectly okay. It, it's, it's all right. So I also have this pins jar. I was about to say frosted glass. Frosted glass. It says pins. It's got some roses on it. And there's not a mark on the bottom, but it's still really nice. Um... Slight, slight chipping on the lip of the glass there. Again, I, my camera just does not like to focus. Yeah, that plum color, you know what? Maybe I should save that for fall time. Oh, hey, Heather. I'm supposed to be involved in family time right now, but shh, I'm watching on mute. Okay, I'll, uh, I was going to say I'll keep it down so I don't rat you out, but you're on mute, so. Yeah. Say hi to your mom for me, Heather, Jeannie. So this pins jar, uh, not very big, but not very small either, is $8 and it's number 15. So $8, number 15 for the pins jar. Oh, uh, Nancy, I forgot to tell you. Yes, I've had the Bewitched um, Twitch and the uh, the theme song to Bewitched is my ringtone. I've had that on there for a couple of years now. Well, I appreciate the support, Heather. I really do. I hope you're going to have a sale soon. Trixie Joyce, what happened to Garland Girl 21? She hasn't posted a new video in over a year. 
I don't know. You know what's funny? I think I talked to her right as COVID was st- um, was like starting, like as it kind of started to trickle into our society. I haven't heard anything from her either. I don't even think she has Facebook anymore. I hope everything's all right with her. I'm sure she's okay. Um, okay. So I have a butterfly here made of ceramic. It's got kind of like stretch, not stretchy plastic, but kind of like a plastic material for the antennas. I think she would look great in boho or even farmhouse. I think she, there's so many different styles that could go on with this. And thank you, Helen Booty, for picking up that pins jar. I appreciate that. So this, uh, without any flaws or any major flaws, besides a little bit of paint loss, the butterfly is $8 and it's number 28. So it's $8 and it's number 28 for the butterfly. Yes, definitely. Pink with black trim chic. Definitely. So Helen Booty, thank you very much. Okay. Another great piece, or pieces, I should say. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. You know what? I was going to go get my COVID shot the other day after work, but they had, they didn't have walk-ups anymore. And they sent me a message saying, okay, you know, we have these three scheduled appointments that we can give you. Unfortunately, none of them worked because I was working or will be working at the time. So unfortunately, I'll get it eventually. So these two horses, I think would look great on a mantle or maybe even just on tables together. You could probably hold books with them too. The, the front feet are, or front legs are, no, uh, maybe not. Uh, no markings to say who they were made by. They do have some slight, slight paint loss on them, you know, due to age. Again, would look great in shabby chic, mid-century farmhouse because of the gold and the white. Pfizer. The ones that they're offering us here, the one that I'm, I was offered was the Johnson & Johnson, just the one and only, which I would prefer over getting the two. And these two are $14. It's $14 for the pair, number 30 for the white and gold horses. So $14, number 30 for the white horses, white and gold horses. No offers, uh, no, uh, no one wants the horses. That's all right. We will move on from that. Okay. Okay, so I have that Oriole souvenir vase. And it says it's a souvenir from Cool Springs Park, and I believe that's West Virginia. Um, I think this was just how it was made, but it, it almost looks like glue residue, but it's not that spot right there. No cracks or chips. It does say Oriole Japan. And the vase is $12 and it's number 17. $12, number 17 for the Oriole vase. I think it's really nice. Would look great for spring especially because the Oriole is perched up on a branch with a flower blooming. So Helen Booty, thank you very much for picking up the vase. I appreciate that. Okay. So the last two items are matches. Matches and just matchbook covers. You're getting a whole big bag of different matchbook covers, a wide variety of different things. And these would be great for assemblage if you're into that sort of thing. I know Comfy Cozy Living is actually at some point offering an, a uh, junk journaling, not assemblage, junk journaling uh, class or something like that. I know she was talking about doing. So these would be great to make pages, like maybe just 
put them on like maybe a piece of card stock and then just lay them flat. There's quite a bit in here, so it's definitely going to be worth your while to pick these up. And it's $10 for the bag, number 21. $10, number 21. So Sandy says that she had the Johnson & Johnson shot and she'd been sick for a month. The doctor thinks that she must have been exposed and the shot triggered some nasty side effects. Oh my gosh, that's awful. I hope you get better soon. Okay, so Chicago Lady would like these. Thank you very much, Jeannie. And someone said they want number 27. What was number 27? Okay, so Pam's Eclectic Place, you would like this dog here. Thank you very much. Let, you know what? Let me just show you the, the damage again because I just want you to see. I don't want there to be any surprises. So the dog itself is fine. It's just the Capodimonte styled flowers on the top of her are a little damaged and chipped. It's just the nature with this thin ceramic. But I just wanted to let you know that. Oh yeah, make sure you all go to Pam's sale. It's starting in 15 minutes. So I've got one more item that I want to share with you all before. So I have a big old bag of matches from different places. Uh, Cadillac, there's one for a, let me just pull it out real quick so you guys can see. And we've got this one for the International Association of Machinists. Very like 4th of July-esque and very patriotic with that. So um, let me show you guys the coastal one again, and then I'll tell you all the price. And then if anybody wants it. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Nancy. For Starnes Restaurant on Yacht Bar, and this is in Atlantic City, New Jersey. This one's a full book, and the heads are blue, which are awesome. Hi, a curious cat. So you're getting 34 matchbooks. Uh, so that's a little less than 60 cents a piece. I miscounted and it's 15 bucks and it's number three. So you're getting 34 matchbooks for $15. That's less than a dollar a piece, which is a steal of a deal. These would look great in a junk jar if you do that sort of thing. I collect some of the matchbooks myself and I will throw them into my jars. I love doing that. I think it's really fun to do and... You don't get graphics like this anymore on matches. Yep, definitely. You're absolutely right, Yvonne. So do we have any takers for the matches? If not, it's okay. Oh, Jeannie gets number three. Thank you, Jeannie. Hi, Day Trip Vintage Co. I forget your name already. Well, everyone, that is everything that I would like to share with you all today. Thank you so much for popping on, making purchases. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if anybody happens to be interested in these horses, the number is 30. You can message me later if you're watching after. So again, these are the only things that didn't sell tonight. Everything else sold. Thank you very much. Again, if you would like to purchase these, you can email me about them later at skullking95680 at yahoo.com. It's strolling down here on the banner. It should be in the description box as well. And make sure you all go ahead and check out Pam's sale tonight. I will be over there very, very soon. I just want to give you all a little bit of time before she gets on. So that way, if you want to get some water, get some food, whatever you need to do. That's all right, a curious cat. I'm going to have plenty more sales. Trust me. So make sure you all hit the thumbs up for me. You can leave me a comment below. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I like to post pictures of items that I find when I'm out. Try to do that at least a couple times a week. And I will see you all at Pan Sale in just a few minutes. Thanks again so much to all of you who made purchases again. I will have invoices out hopefully by tomorrow evening. And I will start packing up orders Monday and Monday night or Monday night and into Tuesday. It just depends on when I receive payment. So I will see you all very soon. And thank you all again. Take care.